All right, welcome back, artistic ladies and gentlemen, to another Fun Fridays episode in this Pokemon TCG online series. Today, I'm going to be showcasing a fun Zygarde Weavil deck, Weavil from the Steam Siege expansion. This deck... Pedro XDK challenges us to a battle with his uh, Fairy, Psychic and Colorless deck. We get to call the coin flip. Uh, Pedro XDK is someone from my friends list, so he's someone who watches my videos, has been watching my videos for quite a long time. So it's very nice to be able to battle against him. Hopefully we can have a nice match. Uh, good luck to Pedro here. We do start off with our carving. Excellent stuff to start off with against my opponent's deck because I do believe he's playing Mega Gardevoir. Let's have a look here. Oops, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to click done there. I wanted to have a look, but uh, well, too late. Oh, we get to have a look here. Yes, it is Mega Gardevoir with Delinquent and Hammers. Oh boy, Mega Gardevoir with Delinquent and Hammers. That's going to be interesting. Does he play Hex Maniac? I wonder. Uh, yes, we'll draw into an extra card. We'll draw into another card. Uh, oh, Sneasel and a Zygarde. Excellent stuff to start off with. Um, question is, do we attach to our Carbink or to our Zygarde? Probably to our Zygarde. And then Escape Rope into our Zygarde. Although the Hammers, the Hammers, they have me worried. The Hammers have me worried big time. An Energy on the God of Oryx. And then... And probably a Hoopa, if my opponent can find a Hoopa. And there's a Hoopa. Good luck. Hoopa for Shaman. A Gardevoir, Gardevoir, and... That's it, probably. Two Gardevoirs and one Shaman. Or maybe two Shamans and one Gardevoir. Depending on how many cards my opponent has in his hand to reduce his hand size. You too, if I slow play a bit, this is my internet, sorry. Oh, that's okay. That is fine. I am slow playing. I uh, I'm slow playing myself, anyways, because I'm recording. Uh, we do see the two God of Wars and the Shaman, as I expected. Shaman for oh, do I, does it have an Ultra Ball? So Shaman for four more cards there. A Sycamore, definitely a, a nice start for my opponent. This card's the Hammer there. That's good. One less Hammer and a Xerneas uh, for the Geomancy. Interesting. I was not expecting to see the Xerneas there. That's uh, interesting. Shaman for four cards. Can he find his sky fields? We need to counter his stadium with our parallel city. When or if we can. That's going to be super important. Spirit Link does find the Spirit Link straight away there. And a pass onto our turn. Fantastic. All right. Uh, let's... Uh, oh, we, we get our parallel city straight away. That's not really what I was hoping for here. We are going to escape Robe into our Zygarde. Force my opponent to promote something else. Then that Gardevoir... Hopefully promotes the Xerneas there, so we can attach or attack the Xerneas. Yes, does promote the Xerneas, and then we will. Will we play down Parallel City? I kind of want to keep it for later on, but I think I will. Yes, we need to draw through our deck a little bit more here. So let's force my opponent to discard the Shaman and discard the Hoopa. And we will Sycamore our hand away. We are looking for. A better hand. There's a uh, Hex Maniac, another Zygarde, an Ultra Ball. Good stuff, good stuff. For now, we'll hit for uh, the Lance Pulse for a ton of damage here. 70, which is a 2 hit kill on this Xerneas. My opponent might just go for the Geomancy in the next turn. Might, might not. I'm not sure. I kind of want to target the Gardevoirs if I can. But I will take a knockout on the Xerneas if I have to. There's a Crushing Hammer. It is a heads. Oh boy. Well, isn't this annoying? There's the energy on the Xerneas. And the Mega Gardevoir comes out. So we will see the Geomancy here from our opponent. Geomancy for a couple of energies is going to start powering up his uh, Gardevoirs. Can we knock out this Xerneas? We are hitting for 50. Nope, we cannot. We need another strong energy. Can we find our another strong energy here? Huh. Oh, there's another strong energy. Look at that. So we will... What will we do? We'll simply Hex Maniac. I think that is going to be our play here. Uh, yes. Uh, Lance Hex Maniac. Prevent my opponent from using any Shamans. Uh, Lance Pulse for 70 damage and the first prize of the game. What do we get? We get a Sycamore. All right. No real need for the Sycamore at the moment. We kind of need to find our Floatstones and our Weavals. I'll probably get out the Weavile here with the Ultra Ball and then look for a Floatstone so we can retreat into our Carbink. Now we dealt with the Xerneas so we can retreat into the Carbink and starts accelerating onto our Zygarde so we can find our Power Memories and stuff like that. 
Uh, counters our stadium with the fairy garden, interesting. Not a sky field and a disparity for 110 damage. On our Zygarde, does my opponent have a Lysander in hand? I wonder. So we'll counter the Fairy Garden. We will attach to our Carbink, I think. Yes, then let's discard the Skyla and the Sycamore. We are going to grab ourselves our Weavile. Do we have Float Stones? Please tell me we have Float Stones. Yes, we do have two Float Stones, which is fantastic. Can we find those Float Stones from our Sycamore? That's the big question. I'll discard this one, Energy. How many energies are in the discard pile? Two energies. Uh, there's our carving break. No floatstone though. So this Zygarde might have to go down. We do Max Elixir onto the Zygarde on the bench. We can play down another carving. We can attach this power memory here. And then we can Shaman for four more cards. Can we find our floatstone from the Shaman? That's the big, big question here. We need this floatstone kinda at the moment. There's our floatstone. Amazing stuff. So now it is time to perform the magic here. Get rid of that Find Fury Belt, put a Floatstone on a Zygarde, retreat into our Carbing Break. Uh, we will put the Find Fury Belt back onto our Zygarde actually. So my opponent cannot one hit kill our Zygarde in the next turn. Um, unless uh, she disc he, sh he discards the Guard of EX. I said he, uh, she, I'm not sure why. We'll put this Find Fury Belt on the Carbing on our bench. And we'll put the Floatstone back into play, put it on a Weavile. Amazing stuff. And then it is time to hit for the Diamond Gift for 20. Put this Strong Energy and this Basic Fighting Energy on our Zygarde. Now we can knock out this here Mega God of War X in one hit with our Zygarde using the Power Memory. And we shall see that in the next turn, I believe. An Ultra Ball from my opponent is going to grab himself a Shaman. Can use a Shaman this time around because we didn't use our Hex Maniac in our turn. So we'll see my opponent discard. Ooh, Mega Gardevoir does not have the Spirit Link for the Mega Gardevoir. There is a Shaman. Can my opponent set up here? Can he maybe find a Counter Stadium? Or maybe some Hammers? Hammers would be nice. There's a Crushing Hammer. It is heads. Will he discard to our Carbink? No, to our Zygarde. All right, we need to prevent our Zygarde from going down to one energy. And there's an Enhanced Hammer. Never mind. Oh my goodness. An energy on the Gardevoir, those hammers and a Hex Maniac to knock us out, knock out our Carbink. Are you freaking kidding me? That was an amazing turn for my opponent. That couldn't have gone any better for realsies there. That could not have gone any better. So let's promote our Carbink. We are going to promote our other Carbink. Do we have our Super Hot still? We don't have our Super Hot. This is the last Carbink that we have. We will have to attach, uh, this, uh, we'll have to discard the Sneasel and the Power Memory. Hopefully we don't see another Hex Maniac. I'll be very sad if you see another Hex Maniac. Very, very sad. I cannot believe that just happened. So let's attach the Strong Energy. Then let's Sycamore our hand away. Oh my goodness. That was so annoying, that turn from our opponents. We do have a Hex... Um, Max Alexir, which fails us. That is huge. That is huge. Let's put this Flowstone in play. And then, what do we do? Do we discard energies? No, we will not discard an energy. We'll simply Diamond Gift for quite a bit of damage here. 40 damage on that Mega Guard of our. Attach back to our Zygarde on the bench. Please, no more hammers. No more Enhanced Hammer. No more Crushing Hammers. No Hex Maniac this turn. We need to preserve our Carbink as long as we can. It's going to be very decisive or very important whether or not we see a Hex Maniac in this turn. There we do see another basic Xerneas. So now we need to watch out for that basic Xerneas as well. Can we actually want to kill this Mega God of our X just by going for... Oh, and there's a Sycamore. Oh, no Hex Maniac. Decides to, uh, to go for the Sycamore instead, which is good. Counters our Stadium. And a Trace Mail. So we can see a retreat into the basic Xerneas, which is a little bit annoying for us. And a Crushing Hammer, another Crushing Hammer, please tell me this one is gonna fail. It is a Tails this time around, alright, this time around we are a little bit more lucky. I am surprised my opponent did not go for the kill there on our Carbing Break. I'm actually quite happy that that happens. We will see the Retreat into the Xerneas. If we do, what do I do? I am not sure. One VS Seeker in discard pile for my opponent, two VS Seekers in our discard pile. 
Boy, oh boy, this is a very close match here. And there's a retreat into that darn Xerneas. Oh my goodness. Why did my opponent manage to find another Xerneas? We need to get a knockout on that Mega Gardevoir. Um, well, let's see. Do we bench a new Zygarde or not? A big question here. Big, big question. I am not sure if we bench another Zygarde. Hmm. We could go for an N. Or we could play down a Shaman and look for a Via Seeker for a Lysander. Or just for our Lysander because we don't seem to have the Lysander in our discard pile. First of all, we are going to discard this energy. We are going to discard... Um, One Zygarde, I have decided I'm going to play down my Shaman. Do we need the Eco Arm? Maybe let's discard the Eco Arm. We don't really have a need for the Eco Arm at the moment. So we will discard it. Take a look at our deck here. No Lysander. Alright, that's a very, very, very sad. No Lysander. Hmm. We will grab nothing. We will play down our Zygarde, no need to play down the Shaman, and we are going to end here. Alright, the strong energy, which is good. We need that strong energy here for our other Zygarde on the bench. Then we can Ultra Ball away this Zygarde uh, with uh, the Ultra Ball and discard the energy as well. Grab ourselves a Shaman for when one of our Pokemon goes down. We can Max Elixir thin out our deck even further. We do need to watch out for the deck out though. My opponent can end us and then we will we are very close to the deck out. And uh, we will diamond gift for some more energy. More energies from the discard pile. Put two energies on our other Zygarde. And just like that, we have three Zygarde's ready to go. But we are down to six cards already. Can we take this game within that time frame before we get um, before we get decked out here? An energy on that Xerneas. We are hitting for 80 against the Xerneas, which is just uh, 20 short, 80 with this Zygarde here. An Ultra Ball. An Ultra Ball. How are we going to take this game? I don't know. Discarding a Mega Turbo, grabbing a Xerneas Break. Oh boy. Xerneas Break can one hit kill our Carbing Break, which is... Oh boy. And an N. Oh no. We will deck out here. We are going to deck out. Very soon, we do have another N ourselves. Live stream for 140 damage on our Garbing Break. Down goes our Garbing Break and our Finding Fury Belt. I should have moved that Finding Fury Belt to my Zygarde. I completely forgot. We will knock out this here. Xerneas Break. But with which uh, Zygarde? That's the question. I am going to use the non... Uh, actually, I'm going to use this one because we have an energy in our hands. We will attach the energy to our Zygarde. And move that Fighting Fruit Belt to our French Zygarde as well, I think. Yes, let's do that. Alright, and then let's get kill on this Xerneas here. In the next turn, we will need to end here. Land's Wrath for... Just enough for the kill here, 130. We grab ourselves a prize, what is it going to be? It is a Lysander, excellent. So we will uh, end in the next turn, and uh, we will knock out this here, Mega Guard of Oryx. All we need to do then is Lysander Shaman and knock out that Shaman. Does my opponent have a Lysander for the Zygarde on our bench? Big question, because then he can Lysander our Shaman in a turn after that. He has lots more VS Seekers. And he might be able to find a Vesica here from that Trainer's Mail. There's a Spirit Link that's not a Vesica. This is gonna be super duper close. Spirit Link on the Gardevoir. Still needs to find that Mega Gardevoir Escape Rope. Alright, we'll Escape Rope in this other Zygarde X. He's down to 9 cards. So we are both down quite a bit in cards here. I'm surprised we haven't seen any more VS Seekers yet. So retreats back into that same Guard of RX that he put onto the bench. And a Lysander on our damaged Zygarde, as I was afraid of. Maybe I should have just kept the Finding Free Belt on that, on that uh, Zygarde. 
So now we need to end in the next turn, bring him down to two cards. Hopefully he cannot find a Vien Seeker for Lysener in that turn. 120 damage right there. We will definitely take a prize right here, but the question is, will we be able to take another prize in the next turn? Do we even need to? Yes, we need to use our power cell memory. So let's go for the N. Um, if we counter the stadium and then N, we will draw four cards, uh, which actually is just, just good enough, I think. So let's counter the stadium. Thin out our deck a little bit. Yes, I do believe this is correct. I must be very careful not to make a mistake here. And then it is time to end. We should be able to find ourselves a good hand for the next turn. Uh, yes, and our, our Lysener is the last card in our deck. Alright, hopefully my opponent cannot find a Mega Gardevoir here. Let's hit for the All Cells Burn for the knockouts on this here Mega Gardevoir. Bring ourselves down to two prizes. Uh, this is going to be super duper important. Can my opponent find and the Lysener and the Mega Gardevoir? We get a Via Seeker and an Energy. Fantastic. One more Mega Gardevoir somewhere for my opponent. Counters the Stadium. And then it might be it. We might take the game right here because we can use our Weavile to switch out our Float Stones. Put the Float Stone on the Zygarde, and there's a Link Blast for 30. Oh my goodness, we take the game. I cannot believe it. That was so super close. So let's use our Tool Away. We are digging ourselves out. Yes, GG. I will say to my opponent, GG. Then let's uh, Tool Away, the All Souls, the, the All Souls Burn, or the Power. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called anymore. I am forgetting everything. I'm just too excited that we are taking this game right here. So let's float stone our Zygarde. Let's power memory our other Zygarde. Then let's retreat into that Zygarde. Zygarde has too much HP. <laughs> yes, I guess it does. And we shall hit for the KO right here. No need to waste my opponent's time. Uh, all souls burn it is uh, for the knockouts. 220 damage right there. That's amazing. Um, I'm not sure if I played this game correctly. I'm not too sure at all. I do think it was good for me to hide behind my carving brakes as long as I could and power up my Zygarde on a bench because it clearly came in handy in the end. We needed all of those energies to be able to hit for the power memories for the one hit kills on my opponent's Mega God Wars. Uh, this was truly an amazing game. It's actually the second game I'm, I've played against Pedro EX with his deck. I played against his expanded Mega God Wars deck before and I did lose that match so now I won now it is 1-1 one, one here I managed to get my revenge 810 damage dealt versus 510 from P2 EX Zygarde EX MVP versus Mega God of War EX all right I hope you enjoyed this bonus battle if you did don't forget to leave a like it is always much appreciated I hope Pedro enjoyed the battle as well I certainly did I enjoyed both battles I played against him and I will see you next time with another episode in this Pokemon TCG online series Carp, 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 car